Okay. So what I'm going to do is in, in my campaigns, I already have all these funnels, right? So I have a seller guide funnel, a buyer guide funnel, an open house funnel, a listing funnel, buyer's list funnel. And, and when it comes to a funnel, it's really, it's really simple. It's, it's really, it's really, it's really two pages. Like that's really what, what a real, like a basic funnel consists of is two simple pages. Page, page one is the landing page. So for example, on the seller guide, you got, you got the landing page. So as they see the ad, they click and they come straight to the landing page, right? One single page, one yellow button, that's it. And then when that person, when that person opts in, then they're taken to a thank you page. So if they come to the page, they end up click here to download my 10 tips. They end up send me your 10 tips. So automatically that email is sent out, right? That, hey, hey Dave, thank you so much. This is Heather. Thank you for inquiring and thank you for downloading my 2021 seller guide. Here's the link to download it. Click now. Hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoy writing it for you. And by the way, Dave, make sure you, you look out for my future emails because I have a ton of great content coming your way. Talk to you soon. Right. Mm -hmm. So right away, that email goes out right away. The moment they land on the second page, which is the thank you page. So it's really these two pages, which are, which are your basic funnel landing page. Thank you page. So on this thank you page, this is where you would have a simple video. And this applies. This this apply this basic funnel, this basic blueprint, this basic strategy applies for anything. It applies for a listing, uh, a, a, a buyer's list, a seller guide. You can apply it to anything. The moment they come to the second page, they see a video of you. Now I'm telling them what to do, right? So so in this video, here here are four basic bullet points, and I'm recording it for you. So don't don't worry about trying to remember, but um, or you can write it down if you want for sure. But for the moment they land here, four basic bullet points to to hit on. And this this is a simple video on your cell phone. This is a simple thirty second video. Number one, I'm thanking them. Thank you guys. Thank you for thank you for downloading my 2021 seller guide. In this seller guide, I talk about the top 10 tips on increasing the value of your home before selling. I know a lot of folks are selling this time of year or, 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 at, or at this time of the market. So I hope you I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoy writing it for you. Or you say something like that, right? Something basic, something just thanking them. That's number one. Bullet point number one. Thank you for downloading my seller guide. And then number two, I'm simply introducing myself. My name is Heather. I'm with Blake Realty. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself and why I'm so fired up to be helping people sell in the greater area of Dallas or Fort Worth or wherever you're at, right? So number two, I'm introducing myself. And then number three, I'm telling them to check their email. Check your email, you guys. I just sent it over. It's titled um, Your 2022 Seller Guide. Make sure you check spam. Sometimes it lands there. Um, but make sure you check your email and also be on the lookout for my future emails because I have a ton of great content coming your way, right? So number three, I'm telling them to check their email. And then number four, I'm telling them to schedule a call. I'm saying, so hey guys. Is there four videos? No, it's, one, it's this, these are four bullet points to hit on this one video. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> so they land here thanking, thanking you, introducing myself, check your email. And then number four, I'm going for the appointment. Hey guys. And by the way, I know, I know a ton of people have questions at this point of time at this time. And if you're in the market now and need to speak to somebody, I'd love to talk to you. So if you click the button below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Okay. So this is where I'm, where I'm shooting for that appointment right away. Okay. Right. So, so what ends up happening is out of every, and this, I kind of, I think I brought this up on our last call out of every 10 people that land here, you'll have, let's just say one or two that actually schedule a call right now. And those are great numbers. Like I'll take one out of 10 any day. Those are, those are basic numbers. If good numbers, if I can get two to three a day, I'd be crushing it. So one out of 10, let's say two out of 10 schedule a call right now. The other eight those go into your, into your email sequence, which is your email autoresponder. And those start to get dripped on. So and every other day, another email would go out. How much are those ads um, on Facebook that you would have to spend to, to get the, those numbers? You want to be spending, I mean, you have to, you have to be budgeting at least, at least 10 bucks a day, like at least $10 a day. Um, you'll want to start, you'll want to, you'll want to start minimum. And then when you, I always say, when you go close a deal, put aside I always say put aside five to 10% of your commission for Facebook ads. Like, like even, even at 10%, if a person were to put 10% away, 
for Facebook ads? Let's just say 5%. What's the average commission? Just average commission out um, there. Uh, like probably 5,000. Yeah, 6, see? see, so if you go 5,000 times 5%, that's 250. So that's, that's not even 10 bucks a day. How so, long are you? Yeah. How long are you running your ads for? You'll want to run one every day. Like you'll want to run not a new one every day, but, but what I want to, what I'm, what I'm going to teach you is to put out one a week, like put out one a week today. We're going to put out a new or not today, but let's just speak in, speaking in general. Let's say, for example, today we put out a video, run it for seven days and, and see, see if we get activity. If, okay. if, if no leads come in, then, then maybe shut it off and put out another one. But, okay. but actually do it like clockwork, do it like Sunday church, do it like, 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 like it's, 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 it's something you have to do, like stick to a schedule because out of these past few years that I've been coaching real estate agents or, and, and just business owners in general, I could teach you everything on the tech side. I could teach you everything on the Facebook ad tech side, but at the end of the day, it's all about that. It's all about you putting out that content. Right. And what I see 99% of the time is that's where they, they all drop the ball. They all drop the ball on not staying consistent on a weekly ad. That's the, that, that, that's, that's, that. Can you recycle them? Oh like yeah, for sure. Doing yeah. an ad and you do like, two? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, but, but rather than, rather than putting content all over the place, rather than thinking you need to post on all these damn platforms all the time. No one a week, one a week on your Facebook business page, run it as an ad. That's it. That's it. Like there's no other post that needs to go out. Like not your Instagram, not LinkedIn, nothing, not, nothing, not on our Facebook page, not, nothing, nothing Okay. other than one video per week on that business page. And I'm running an ad on it. That's and have it. Have you done anything since they've made the changes? Have they changed anything where it's uh, an issue um, on the back end, or are they or, still being productive? The ads. Or, Oh yeah, I mean this is this is the time of year when ads even crush it even more. And that's what and and that's another thing that my Facebook rep said the other day. He's all dude, now that we go into the fourth quarter, this is when everybody's running ads, so you're going to need to spend a little bit more. Like you're going to and that's what he told me. He's all you're you're going to want to advise your clients to be to be spending a little bit more because Facebook and just online advertising in general, it's all about bidding, who's spending more. Like if I'm an agent and you're an agent and we're in the local and we're both in the local area who's spending more okay that's that's what it comes down to is who's spending more because whoever's spending more is going to get their ad shown more obviously that's basic obvious and and that's that's what happens in the fourth quarter of of facebook and instagram ads is because all these all these holiday ads and all these black friday ads that are being pushed out this second right. is 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 making everybody spend more um so but at the same time, in your case, you're local. So that's why you're not focused on the entire country. You're not focused on making sales. You're focused on leads in a, in a little area. Okay. So, so the, what I'm trying to say is the consistency of the content has to be there. Like you want to, you, and even, even sometimes, let's say, for example, you don't actually pull the trigger and run the ad on it. Still get in the habit of making a video every week. Like make it a, make, make it a habit. Um, and, and, and that, that will get you that, that will psychologically get you disciplined to, to stay on track. Okay. Okay. So, so as these leads come in X amount, will schedule an appointment X amount won't. And that's why the back end on the email automation is so important. Mm -hmm. So as, 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 as a person lands here and they don't schedule a call, the system's going to know, Kartra's going to know, because we'll set it up that way. They, the system will know if that person scheduled a call or not. If they did not, send them email number two. And so email number two would go out tomorrow, for example. Hey, Dave, this is Heather. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my seller guide yesterday. Have you got to page three? On page three, I'm talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that brings to the overall price. Here's what I meant by it. And by the way, Dave, if you'd like to if you'd like to chat, I'd love to talk to you. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to can't wait to talk to you. So that would be basic text in an email. And so in the email, just like just like these emails over here, like for example, these right here. So look, here's a basic email. This came from my Facebook, my Facebook guy. This right here is the text. And all he's doing right here is hyperlinking these words. So I would say something like, I would put, I would do this in, in my email. Hey, hey, Dave, and by the way, if you'd like to, if you'd like to chat, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link below or 
click here, click here. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Mm -hmm. So, so, so I would either hyperlink a word or I can even add a button. I can add a button the way it looks over here, this yellow button, I can add this button in the actual email as well. Okay. So, so that's why the back end on the emails are so, so important. That's another place people drop the ball is you may capture a lead, but you never nurtured that lead. You never communicated. You never stayed in touch with that lead. And, that, and that's, and, and it's hard if you're just doing it manually. Right. So you have to automate that part. Um, that's the, that's the email automation. So and show me how to do all that. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to do all this. So, so basic, basic funnel landing page, thank you page, the email sequence, and then, and then your, your calendar, your calendar. So I have everything already packaged, packaged here uh -huh. with the red bow on it. And, and so I don't want to overwhelm you with all of these and transfer them all this second. So, so where should we start? Should we start with the seller guide one? Uh, yes. Yeah, let's just, let, I'll, I'll start with this one. Let's start with this one. And so all I'm going to do is simply give you a code. I can either generate a code um, and just, and, and have you plop in. In fact, I'll just do that. I'll just do that. So here's a code. So just let me send it in the chat. So grab, grab that code and then go ahead and, and share your screen. <clears throat> and then I'll show you where to put it. Okay, let me. Your screen. Okay. 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 Awesome. So now, all you're going to do is simply go over to to the bottom left. You're going to click on my campaigns, and then over here we're going to click on available campaigns at the top, and then import that green square to the bottom right we're going to click import and so all you're going to do is paste in that code and then hit next okay so here's what's coming over four pages a form the email sequence and and a list um so the the four pages the landing page the thank you page the 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 thank you for scheduling page so as a person goes to goes to your calendar and they schedule a call they then land on a thank you page a thank you for scheduling page that's the third page that's coming over um and let me show you this because this is super basic let me let me share again i'm sorry stop share because this i want to really really explain what these pages are so and why they're so so important especially for facebook advertising so let's say for example someone goes to your calendar they go to your calendar, they schedule, they schedule a call. Let's say I schedule right there, 9 a.m. Next, I put in my, my basic info, I hit next, and then here's what happens. So as that call is scheduled, they then land on a thank you for scheduling page. So that's the third page that's in this in this campaign that's coming over is is a is a simple page for for call confirmed. Mm -hmm. The reason why this page is so so important is because this is a page also the thank you page. So we got we got the landing page, we have the thank you page, we have the call confirm page. And then and then there's an email page. That's the fourth page there that you see number four. That's mm -hmm. the that's for emailing. But but this one right here, the it's really the the thank you for scheduling page and the thank you for downloading. Thank you for thank you, your thank you page as they opt in and they come here. These links are the most important, really, for your for Facebook advertising because anyone that lands on this link we're now able to put, or we're going to be putting in a custom audience in mm -hmm. Facebook. And, and the reason for that is so we can then exclude them from seeing future ads. Also those who land on the thank you for downloading. So if I come to your, to your landing page and I opt in and then I land on your thank you for your thank you page, this is how you, in Facebook on how, this is how you track in Facebook, your cost per lead. Because now Facebook's going to know how many people actually landed on this specific link. 
Okay. So it's so important to track our numbers. It's so important to track our, our cost per lead, how many leads came in. You're going to know how many leads came in just because just from Karcher alone, like you'll be able to go to my communications and, and you'll see your list and then you'll see seller guide list, for example, and you'll see how many leads are on that list. Like right here, active leads, you see zero. You would see that that's how you that's one way to track your leads on on how many leads came in but then also in facebook you want to be able to track that in facebook as well um, because in facebook it'll give you the cost per lead right it'll let us know how much we spent it'll let us know how our cost per lead because because they're going to let us know how many people actually landed on this link okay so that's that's one super important reason and my landing page will be you'll show me how to attach it where it'll oh, automatically send to heather me. i'm going to freaking take you from a to z on all this stuff Yes. Awesome. Heck yeah. So, so tracking purposes, the link is so important, but then also those who land, look, those who land on the thank you page, those who land on the thank you for scheduling page, those are two audiences. Those are two audiences that I can now exclude from seeing future ads. Hmm. Because if you've already came to my, my landing page and you opted in, and I know that because you landed on my thank you for skip for downloading page. Facebook has you in an audience. I know that you're in that audience. Why do I need to keep showing you ads? Right. So now I get to exclude you. You're in a specific audience inside Facebook. I'm going to exclude you from seeing future ads. So you can get somebody new. Heck yeah. So now only new people see your stuff. So you're only spending money showing it to new people, not showing it to people who've already, who've already you scheduled a call with you. They've either, you're not going to be showing it to people who, who scheduled a call or people that even landed over here. That's right? cool. Because or I've excluded. had people message me on Facebook saying, your ad's always on my page. Take it off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in that case, here, here's how that would happen. If, I mean, here's, here's, here's one example of, of that. If you keep seeing my ads, here's two, here's two different ways you're going to keep seeing my ads. Two different, two different, two different ways. Number one way that you'll keep seeing my ads is if you're watching my videos. So if you're watching my video ads, right? So if I scroll through the news feed, like, let me just show you this part. If I'm just scrolling through the news feed, and let's say, for example, I come across a random ad, and let's say it's a video. Let's see if I can find an actual video ad. Um, okay, here's here's a, here, sponsored. There's the text. There's the video. Okay, mm -hmm. this video is four minutes and fifty five seconds, right? She is tracking me through Facebook through her custom audiences. She's tracking everyone who watched it for fifteen seconds. Boom! I'm now in an audience. She's also set up another audience of everyone who watched it for let's say twenty five seconds. Boom! I'm in I'm in that audience. I'm at 27 seconds, 28, 29. She's also setting up a custom audience of everyone who watches it for 30 seconds. Now, what she's going to do with those audiences is show them another ad. Because why would anyone sit here for 40 seconds if there was no interest? Right. So because she has that tracking ability through her custom audiences, now she can show me another ad. She'll want to show me another ad. She'll want to show another ad to people who watched the video for at least 55 seconds. That's a hot person, right? That's someone that really sat here for a minute long and watched my shit. Mm -hmm. You know, so shit, let me put them in an audience. Let me show them another ad. That's one way people keep seeing your ads if you're watching my stuff. Gotcha. Another way you're going to see my ad is if you click and you come over to my landing page, but you didn't opt in. Because not only am I tracking those who opted in, those who landed on the thank you for downloading page, I'm tracking that with an audience so I can then exclude them. I'm also tracking those who have scheduled an appointment with me. I'm tracking the link so I can then exclude them as well from seeing future ads. But one audience that I will always continue to show more ads to are those who actually clicked, landed here, but never opted in. Gotcha. It's like, dude, why would you click on my shit? Why would you land here? Like, what if, right. if you're really that pissed off, why'd you even click on my stuff then? Gotcha. Right. It's your fault. You keep seeing my stuff. It's your freaking fault. You're watching my stuff. Stop watching my stuff. Right. Well, that makes okay. sense. I didn't know that. Yes. That's all tracking. Like, you think I just want to show it to people just for the hell of it? No, hell no. 
And, and, and as you move forward, and that's why staying consistent with these ads are so, so important because what you're doing on the back end, it's not all always about the lead. It's not like, of course, like when we're on our last freaking shoestring budget and, and we have to make it work, of course, we're looking, we're micromanaging that budget. We're micromanaging the dollar, of course, but it's not always about the lead. It's not what you're doing on the back end. And this is what you have to have to always keep in mind. What you're getting on the back end is the data. So I'm able to build these audiences of people that are watching my stuff and those that are landing on my page, but not opting in. That's one benefit of advertising. I'm tracking this and I'm gathering all the data. I'm, I'm filling up these buckets of people that are watching my stuff. That, mm -hmm. that, there's value to that. Right. And also, as I put out video and I'm targeting a local area, the fact that thousands of people are now are now going to start seeing your face, Heather. Okay, yeah, they didn't click on your stuff yet. Okay, yeah, they didn't opt in and buy your shit yet. Okay, whatever. But thousands of people are now seeing you all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. There's value to that. Right. So, so that's what you have to look at as well is the data and the branding effect that that you're gonna you're gonna get out of all of it as well. And then okay. and then and then yeah, of course, the icing on the cake is the lead. Um, and the cherry on top is when you close the damn lead, you know, so, so, but it's the data. So yeah, those types of people are, are either landing on your page, but not opting in, or they're watching your videos. That's okay. how they, and what you sent me on that email link that gives them something to, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, um, that gives them word automatic emails too, or is that something I set up? The emails. So share your screen. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to um to to what what's coming over. So the emails, those are something that we'll set up. So those are because that that's going to be in your in your verbiage. Like you're going to want to talk to that lead the way Heather talks to that lead, right. Okay. right? So I put out like a basic blueprint, but we'll just go in and edit. So four pages, a form. The form is what's on the landing page. So as someone clicks on the ad and goes to the landing page. They click the yellow button, a form pops up. They're able to enter their name and email. That's what's coming over as well as a form. And then the sequence is the, is the, the emails, the, the automated emails, and then the list of just where the lead lives is on the list. So go ahead and click on the green one, begin import. And so now um, you can click on close. And then over here, we'll simply um, click on, we'll just click on the, th the three dots again, and then we'll click on deploy. So that's it. So, and then you'll just give it a, a prefix, like an abbreviation, but you'll be able to delete that later. Um, just put a, put two letters, put your initials or put whatever for now and then import. Okay, cool. So that's how you transfer over a funnel. And again, I, a seller guide would, would work, works really good. And then, and then a listing funnel would work really good, even an open house one, but but a listing, even if you don't have a listing, borrow a listing, run ads on it and capture leads. And, and, and the listing funnel works really good too. So you can X out of this one. And then, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply um, click. We're, so now everything transferred over. So now let me show you where everything's at. So my communications will start there. That's, that's your list and your sequence. So as you come over to my communications, click on list at the top. And then you'll see this basic list and all it is is just a list. So you'll have active leads and that's when that zero count will start increasing as, as we start to bring in leads, you'll have that list. Um, and, then, and, then, and then back real quick, back to, back to the custom audiences, the custom audience on the landing page, the custom audience on the thank you page, the custom audience on the thank you for scheduling page. As I, as I just mentioned, and as I'm explaining is that People who land on a thank you page, again, will be in a custom audience. I can then exclude that audience from seeing future ads, right? That's okay. what I've been saying this whole entire time. Right. Now, when you flip it, when you flip it, what I can also do is, okay, I have this audience of my leads in Facebook. They landed, they're in my custom audience. These are people who have landed on my thank you page. What I can also do is flip it as well, where... How about target them? How about one, how about running an, a specific ad just to them? Hey guys, this is Heather. Hey, I know you downloaded my 2021 seller guide a few weeks ago, but you've yet to schedule a call with me. Let me put out this, right? So now I can, I can talk specifically 
to people who downloaded my seller guide, but haven't scheduled a call. And okay. I can target only them. Okay. Right. So, so you'll always want to retarget those who are watching videos, but haven't opted in. You'll always want to retarget those who land on the landing page, but haven't opted in. Those will be, those will be audiences that you'll always want to retarget. But then again, yeah, you can always put out a specific ad for those who actually opted in, but haven't scheduled a call. Okay. Right. And, 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 and I'll show you how to set all that up. So here is the basic list. That's where all the leads will, will start living is on the list. And then the sequence. So if you, if you hover over communications at the top, you have um, sequence and sequences is your, is your, is your email automation. So as we, as we come in, we'll come back, we'll come back here, but that's just where we would click the pencil to the right. And then we would set up all the emails. So it's really just list and sequences. That's really what, what we'll focus on. And then, and then my pages to the left, that's where you'll see the new pages. So you should have four of them. My pages to the left. Um, that's where all your landing pages will be. So here's the basic, the basic funnel. It's really the opt-in and thank you. And oh, then you gosh. have your call confirmed and then, and then the email sequence, the email sequence, hover over the email sequence one and just click the eyeball just so, so it can expand, hover mm -hmm. over the, the, the page, no, the actual, yeah, right there. So you hover over the, the image. You should see like an, yeah, right there. Click this right here is a single page. It's a simple page, a single page, click it. So this right here is a simple link that I would include in my emails. Now, this is just when you go, when you take a step, when you, when you kind of go to the next level and you're, you have the time and you're, you're, you, you, you want to, you, cause all I, all I know is that video is everything, Heather, like video is freaking everything, man. Like video is everything, everything. Like when people see you in video, it's a completely different connection. Like, it's just, it's, it's very weird. It's very, very weird. Um, in a good way. It's, it's, it's amazing in so many good ways, but I always encourage these emails should be video. It should be video, but it, that's obviously more time consuming to put a video out for every email, but it's something that I would do. It's something that I do do. Like now that you're on, for example, now that you're on one of my, you're, on, you're now on one of my lists. You've been on a couple of my different lists, client list. Mm -hmm. um, you've been on, on other lists, but, but right now you're on a, a new list, which is my Kartra affiliates. So anyone who's with me with Kartra, they start to receive in my email sequence. I have a specific sequence set up just for them where they start to receive emails now as well. So as you start to see my emails come through over the next few weeks, every email is tied to a video. Now, in my case, I'll have you read an email, click, and then you go to my YouTube channel because that's where I'm putting the video because I'm building a YouTube channel. But if one wasn't building a YouTube channel, that video can simply be on Kartra. It can be uploaded and hosted on Kartra. And that video can be on a Kartra page. And the reason why this is so, so powerful, because again, imagine if this was email number, it, imagine if this was email number nine. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I hope all is well. Hope everything is going good. I know we haven't spoke yet. And I know you, I don't know if you've been through the entire seller guide, but in today's email, I want to give you seller tip number nine. On page 13 of my 2022 seller guide, here's what I'm talking about. So I can simply explain that in a 45 second video. And then also in that video say, hey, and by the way, I'd love to talk to you. So if you have any questions, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So here... I can keep, rather than having you click in my email and go straight to YouTube, and all of a sudden, three seconds later, you're watching a video on Grant Cardone, right? Mm -hmm. Because once you get to YouTube, holy crap, you're, we're all ADD and we have such a short attention span where it's like, damn, you're watching another video in five seconds, mm -hmm. right? That's the downfall of me taking you straight to YouTube. But if I had you open up my email and you clicked to watch my latest video, you clicked and you came straight here. I have your attention for a little longer. And I'm able to put a button there to get you to click. Right? And that's mm -hmm. what it's all about is getting that person to watch the video and click to schedule a call. So mm -hmm. I can keep that attention focused by bringing you to a page. Another thing I can do is put my pixel on this page and track 
the visit. So now I could put these people in a specific custom audience and maybe show them a, another ad, right? Mm -hmm. so, so the tracking of the page through Facebook and keeping their attention to get them to click that yellow button is more likely than taking them straight to YouTube and watching a video over there. So, so in my emails, I, I tend to put out video because that's what, what, what everybody's willing to, to spend time on. If they're going to open up an email, let them watch a video. Everybody rather watch a video than read a freaking long ass email. Right. You know, so, so what I would have put in text on the email, I'm just explaining it in a 30 second video. And, 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 and by getting you to watch, by getting a person to visually watch me on video, I get to indoctrinate them and build that, build that, that, that branding effect. Unlike anything else, unlike, so if a I basic don't have 10, am I able to customize these as well? Oh, hell yeah. We're going to edit all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Change out the color of the yellow, change out the image. Yeah. You can, this can is I, just, the can I show template. you what I have so far yes. for my color guide? Yes, Maybe for sure. Can, um, is it, is it a PDF? It's a PDF, right? It should be. I'll have to find it. Um, yeah, let's. If you have the PDF, we can upload it right now. To I've already. I've customized it and everything. I just don't know where exactly. There's the buyer a copy of seller edible. I don't even know what that means, but I love it. I love it. it I love it. Pocket. Yeah, that's definitely one of the nicest seller guides I've, I've ever seen. So this right here becomes your bait. Your entire online marketing presence should evolve around this PDF. So and even one was a presentation and I don't know where the other one is. I'd have to find it, but maybe it's this one, the seller's packet. Because it's in a different, no, that was downloading it to edit it. Okay. Let's upload that real quick. Just, just while we're here, go to, yeah. go to, go to Karcher real quick and just, um, can you expand this a little? Yeah. Okay. So, so X out of this part right here, this image. Yeah. This one. And then to the left, this is how you upload a PDF. So you're going to click on, um, you're going to click on my memberships, my memberships to the left, my memberships. And then at the top, you're going to click on files. So this file will now be hosted on Kartra. So click on upload the green square to the right. And all you're going to do is just upload that file. So um, upload file. And it could be a presentation style. It could be. Um, because see, that's the thing is whenever I have this on here, presentation of what is this? Uh, as long as it's a PDF, not, not the Word document, as long as it's a PDF, file which which that other one was or is um that will work so all you're gonna do just you know shorten up the you could take away the yeah take away the word edible yeah perfect and then you could just perfect that's fine and then and then click on the check the green check mark save it and then click next and so now you ha you'll have a link that you would embed inside of email number one. So what I mean by embed it is you'll hyperlink it to a word or we'll just hyperlink it or link it to a button in the actual email. So email number one, that's the link. So now click that link that you see down there next to zero. Yeah, that one. So get URL, this link right here. In fact, let's do it right now. Let's copy the whole thing, copy the whole thing. And let's simply put it in email number one. So, and we'll worry about the editing. We'll make it look all, make it, you know, edit the words and all that later, but let's at least mm -hmm. put it there for now. So click on my communications. And then um, we're going to simply go to communications at the top and go to sequences. So this is where the automation begins. Click on the pencil and then we'll go into edit. And as you come in here for the first time, it's kind of just walking you through like a tutorial of, of, of every button inside of it. But I'll, I'm going to give you a crash course now. So just start and then just click next, 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 next. My goal is to, um, you know, have a video possibly made for you by this weekend and then maybe sometime next week.
Monday or Tuesday or something. Um, yeah. Start start it going. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Keep it simple and, and, and we'll, we'll get it done. So this right here is the simple layout. So the start and rule, it all starts with a start and rule. So let's edit over this green um, little circle that you see at the top start and rule. Let's edit that. Let's make sure that that's the right starting rule. So the starting rule is anyone who subscribes to this list, how do they subscribe to the list? They opt in. So you could base it on an opt-in form. You can base it on a tag. You can base it on a list. Um, anyone on this list receives the next email. So I would just leave it there. Leave it lead subscribes to list seller guide leads list. Mm -hmm. So, and then just click save. So the moment they opt in immediately, that first email goes out your 2021 seller guide. And we can edit all of this stuff. So we're going to edit all the words. You can edit all that stuff. Mm -hmm. That, that is when the first one goes out and you can even change the two days, two days, two days, right? So that one goes out immediately. Real estate 101 that goes out two days later, right? Any questions I can answer that goes out two days later, but you can change the days. If you want to go out every three days, every day, every two hours, whatever, you can change all that. So let's click edit. Let's go edit on the first one. And then um, over here is where that's where you see the communication, your 2021 seller guide. That's what you see internally. I tend to name that whatever I'm naming the subject line, right? Whatever I'm naming the subject line. So, so that right there, I want it to be the email subject line as well. That way, when I come in here and I look at it from this view, X out real quick. When I look at it from this view, uh -huh. I know exactly what email that is. Okay. If, if the second email is, is, if I have it in the communication, if I have it internally titled real estate 101 for the second email, but the title might, but the email, the, the email subject line is something completely different. Um, it, it throws me off. And that's just maybe me personally. Do I have to put 2022 on here or do I can't? No, just you can put whatever the hell you want. Okay. Yeah, you could change all this stuff. You can change, you can name it whatever you want. But all I'm saying is whatever you name it internally, which is communication, use use that same name for the subject line of the email as well. That way you, you, don't, you don't get confused on what email that is. You'll know exactly what email that is, right? Because it's it's named right there. Because if you if you if it's a completely different email, then you have to go in and, and check, which I'm gonna show you right now. So we're naming it, we're naming it um your seller guide. So your seller guide. So now, now go down to email content and let's go into the actual body of the email. So internally communications, your seller guide, but over here, it's your 2021 seller guide, right? So yeah, right. so we're going to change that up and boom, here goes the basic flow of the email. Now, all this stuff can be updated. All this stuff can be changed, but since you have that link copied, let's embed the link real quick. So I can easily hyperlink a word. Click here to download your 2022 seller guide, right? I can easily hyperlink a word or I can just add it to the green button. I can even change the color of the green button, right? So let's let's leave it with the button and let's just let's just play around with the button real quick. Mm -hmm. Scroll down to the to the green button. Just hover over it and click the pink pencil. And then you're just going to you're going to paste in your link right there. So delete that one, paste in the new link. And then you can always change out that color. So click it and then you'll have a bunch of different different colors. And then whatever whatever color you go with, I would stick with that color. Yeah, I'm trying to stick it with it because I'm branding, you know. Yes, so yes. That kind of color. Yes. So here's what you want to do. Here's what you want to do. Go back to it real quick. Go back to here. To the color. Yeah. Okay, so click on um, my palettes right there, or the three dots, it's either the three dots or the word. Yeah, click on, yeah, create palette. Okay, so this, give it a name. This is your, 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 your blue or whatever, give, give it, perfect, United, United Blue, perfect, save. And I can always change that once I, because I, I actually have a code for that, but I'll have to dig into where I can find that. Yes, you can paste in the code right there and then go back, go back to it real quick. We didn't save it. Oh. Click the pink one and then um, oh. click the color again. Actually, yeah, paste in that link. Okay, so hit the um, hit the color again. Oh, it did, it did save. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, okay, good. So it's right. 
So and how I do should, I save this? It should have saved. Okay, so once we, at the very top, so now let's do this real quick. Scroll down and, and just and send send test email. Down, 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 send test email. And send yourself a test and then click on that on that blue button. Awesome. So there's your seller guide. So you click on it and then, and it's not going to be coming from Kartra. This is just a test. So just um, click on it and then let's test the blue button. So the person clicks on the blue button. I can't even click on it. Okay. So maybe we had to save it first. So let's go back to it real quick. Go back to Kartra. Delete. Yeah. So you're going to just click, drag it over and then, and then just edit the button right here. So let's right edit here? this. No, the, the pink one. So add that link. And then here, put. Um... Mm -hmm. There you go. For the hell of it, let's even hyperlink a word. So just, just hyperlink, hyperlink any word. Just copy any word. So inside of the email, hit the pink pencil, and that allows you to come into the text of the email. And so now you can just highlight any word and then just hyperlink it. So just hit that link above right there. Yeah, perfect. So paste in that URL, and then we'll... we'll We'll see. Do I need to, because I see this says HTTP over here. Yeah, it should be. If it says it twice, it's okay. It actually should be. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, just hit okay. Yeah, perfect. It's okay. Okay, cool. So now let's send test. So scroll down and then let's send test again. I need to save the template. No, we should just be able to go straight to send test email. Okay. There's the hyperlink of a, of a word. We'll, we'll definitely fix the button. And then sometimes you can even hyperlink the image if you want. You know, put a cool image of yourself, a headshot or whatever. And then if they click on it, then that downloads, downloads it as well. So this is where we'll just do some basic editing um, of the email. But that's kind of where it's at. And then if you ever want to use a different template, like this is just a basic template that I have, the email mm -hmm. template. There's a ton of templates over to the left under my templates. There's a ton that are already done. All you do is just, you know, obviously edit around it, but you can so um, go under my templates. Yeah. So over, over there you have, Kartra has all these different templates that you can choose from. Nothing's click, when I click on it, nothing happens. Yeah. See, there's a little hiccup right now inside this system. Because, yeah, that's that's what's going on. Mm. So scroll back up and then just, um, yeah, you're in advanced mode. So just edit, click on the green one, edit, and we'll just come back into it. But in my templates, there's a bunch of different templates that you can work off of as well. Um, but I'll find out what's going on with this for sure, for sure, for mm. sure. We'll come back to this. But what 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 we have to do for sure and I actually have another call in like one minute, but we're going to set up a few calls, you know, a week. So I'm, I'm on your schedule. If we could chat every day, if we could chat every other day, then we'll really get, you know, some momentum going. Okay. But um, I'm available tomorrow um, and then I can do Monday. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I'll probably can, run this ad like after Thanksgiving, you think? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because we, we, we have a ton of stuff to do first. Yes. Like we have a ton of stuff. It's not just the funnel, but we have a ton of stuff on the Facebook ad side that we have to set up around the funnel. What are you available tomorrow? Like Do you have my, you my link, my the... calendar link? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You, oh, where's your calendar link at? Go, you can, um, in fact, bookmark it. So just go open up another tab and just um, go to, go to zoom call with David, zoom call with david.com. And then just bookmark this calendar zoom call with david.com and that will take you straight to my my Karcher calendar so just bookmark this and 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 whenever you schedule schedule it either schedule it under either facebook ad coaching or or under under Karcher training call whatever okay. either one of those um 